Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're gonna be talking about Jupiter itself. You guys know how excited I get when I talk about Jupiter, and I just wanna say thank you, every one of you guys, for showing a tremendous amount of support on the Jupiter updates. I do see that you guys are enjoying these updates. So what I want from you guys is just one thing, and that is, of course, to hit that red subscribe button and like the video, it goes a long, long way. I'm trying to reach 50,000 subscribers, so your support would be greatly appreciated. But if we're looking at the markets today, pretty sure at this point, if you do invest in crypto, you know that the market is pumping. And that is, of course, due to BTC. And I'm sure you watch all my updates, especially the Solana one, because, of course, Jupiter and Solana are connected. And you know that I've been emphasizing the specific price point for BTC, which is at the 38.2 Feb zone. And we did see the price of Bitcoin closing into that. And since then, the price of Bitcoin has been just exploding. And we have seen the entire market go up with it. But there's a lot of questions about Jupiter. A um, lot of people are left in the app situation. Like, what exactly is happening with Jupiter? Why isn't it pumping? That is the question. And the overall sentiment for Jupiter token itself is bearish. A lot of uncertainty. And I like that. And I'm going to share why. So before we get into it any further, though, I just want to say a disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So if we're looking at the price of Jupiter as of today, you're looking at Jupiter sitting at 50.4 cents. We're up about 1.2 L over the past 24 hours in USD comparative and a little bit up in BTC comparative. But what you're looking at is that Jupiter is no longer in the top 100 rank. So the reason as to why this is the case is because, as you know, the entire market pumped up and some coins were ranked below Jupiter that are outpacing Jupiter at the moment. So, of course, that is going to shift the overall ranks. But if we're looking at Jupiter's market cap right now, $681.6 million and the 24-hour trading volume sitting at two and nine million. Not bad to be quite frank with you guys, but let's take it a step further and see what exactly is happening. And I'm gonna share once again why I am so excited about Jupiter. So first, let's go over BTSC. I'm sure at this point everyone knows, but of course, if you are not, we're just gonna briefly go over that. that so of course, as soon as Bitcoin got to 38.2, closed its daily candle above, you can see what happened with BTC. So at this point, if you've been watching my Solana updates, my iKeep updates, any update, and you're probably thinking to yourself when I was making an update regarding this, this guy sounds like a broken record. I'm sure at this point people realize how important this level was for BTC, so that answers a question for that. But let's take a look at what's happening with Jupiter first. So some great news, the total value lock for Jupiter Exchange per market surpassed 120 million. So the biggest pools right now are Solana, of course, and $45, five cents million dollars in USDC. And on top of that, you can see this for yourself. Jupiter Exchange flips Polygon Matic in 24-hour trading volume. Again, not a surprise to me. But this is something I want to talk about because this is something a lot of people were really worried about before this announcement. So you can see this for yourself. Jupiter Exchange was a few days back, but I want to talk about it because I haven't made an update since then. But you can see Jupiter Exchange founder announces that entire launch pad fees earned from Jupiter launch, which was 100 million Jupiter, will be allocated to users that vote on DAO governance proposals. And this is bullish. This announcement itself caused a uh, take the day this announcement came out. But since then, a lot of FUD again, a lot of people paper handing their bags. And again, there's a huge amount of Jupiter out there that people own that were airdrop, arguably the biggest airdrop ever. So there is a lot of paper handing that's happening right now, and it gets me excited. Truly, honestly, it gets me excited, but you guys might call me crazy and stuff, but let me tell you something. I have done my due diligence, and I have done my research, and I know where I make this overall decision and why I get excited, but that's my own opinion. This does not mean this is necessarily going to happen, but of course, there's a risk factor in, in all of them. I'm willing to take that risk. And you need to do the same due diligence. By no means this is me telling anyone, oh, you know what? This is 100 and certain. Not, there's always the uncertainty. And of course, I'm not responsible for anyone's due diligence. That's for everyone to do. And also on top of that, at the same time, you can see this for yourself. Jupiter Exchange founder also said that the USDC liquidity from launch, I'm sorry, but the launch pool will not be removed at all once. Instead, it moved in 10 million batches over the past, I'm sorry, over the next few months. And then of course, this was the issue. This was 
the biggest fear. When this was announced that the liquidity from the launch pool would be removed, people thought thinking the entire amount of liquidity was going to be pulled at once. And of course, that does impact the price without a doubt. And that did not happen. So what, what the founder said is they're going to do it in a batch. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make a significant impact. And I like that. Of course, nice. So now that's that. But now you guys are looking at the price of Jupiter, but you're looking at, wait, what the heck is going on with Jupiter? It's almost pretty close to its all-time low. Yeah, so why is the price not pumping? Because people are paper-handing. There are not many people that are still showing interest. So basically what I'm trying to say is supply and demand, right? There's just not much demand on the buyer side right now for Jupiter and more sell pressure, which is leading to the price going down. I love that, to be quite frank with you guys, because I want Jupiter to go lower. I don't care if it goes lower. I want to pick it up more because... What I see is it replicating Uniswap, in my opinion, in my opinion. Let me show you once again. Of course, at this point, everyone understands the importance of Solana. You can see how well Solana is performing. Just look at it in the top 10 projects right now. Just let's base it on that. If you're looking at just the last seven days in the top 10 projects, you're only seeing Solana up 10.1. No other project in the top 10 is up 10 is he nay. And that speaks for itself. And we know the significant Solana ecosystem is gaining. Ethereum is old news at this point. A lot of people are showing interest in Solana. It's breaking records day by day. A lot of interesting news is, is coming day by day. And at this point, it just seems like we cannot get enough of good information coming out of Seoul. And what if I told you we haven't even seen the entire magnitude of where the Solana ecosystem will see a huge spike? I think we are yet to see that. And I think we'll start seeing that this year. I think what we're seeing right now is just a little bit of a hint of what we could be expecting because in terms of Solana's total value locked in, in terms of its DeFi, it's still like 7x away from reaching its all-time high. And the previous all-time high for its DeFi, in terms of total value lock, that time Solana was not even near where it is in terms of ecosystem growth. You user growth, and that's what gets me thrilled when I look at Jupiter. And not only that, let's take a look at this. If you go on top decentralized exchanges, decentralized exchanges are more popular than ever before. If you're in a crypto, you remember those early days when decentralized exchanges came, ICOs happened, but they just ended up failing. No one paid attention to it. But now we've seen since Uniswap launch, you have to give credit where it belongs because of course, Ethereum. But since Uniswap launched and the airdrop was massive, that changed the game for decentralized platforms. People use it. And of course, the meme coin market launched and it's just changed the whole world around decentralized exchanges. But my point right here is to look at this. You're looking at Uniswap, which is the biggest aggregator on an Ethereum. But if you're looking at Jupiter number two, look at the volume, $521.5 million, and market share by volume is 14.1. And this is the biggest decentralized platform on Solana. Remember to like this video, share it with fellow crypto enthusiasts, and leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts and questions. Your engagement fuels our passion for delivering high-quality content and fostering a thriving community.